Do you know what a man clutch is? Are you intrigued? Well, I've got a wallet that might qualify. Its name is Renegade, which sounds manly enough, but wait, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> this is from Travax. Here is the Renegade. It is by Travax. And as all Travax wallets, it tells us who built it. Oh, Carol, maybe it is a clutch. Right, let's open it up here. And here is the wallet or the clutch or the long zipper wallet. It's uh, very interesting. I like how this was made here. We'll talk about that. You can see the edges. The stitching that's gone on here. It looks like we have some metal and some rivets as well as a zipper. This is interesting. Let's give you just a quick look at it here. It is very supple, very nice on the hands, pliable. Let's get into it. I think I'd need a tether to help ensure this doesn't get lifted, or I might feel like I have a paddle in my front pocket. I'm not quite sure. Wait, where's my purse? My purse? Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Everything's okay. Stick around after the final score as we will do a quick visual of the Renegade against a few other zipper wallets we've reviewed. First off we notice is this attachment point right here. It's a good piece of metal and this provides us the ability for tethers. And when you have the zipper, using the zipper you can overlap right here. You put the zipper over just like that. And then you can use a carabiner, a tether, something else right there. And it keeps the zipper closed. This is a metal sheath over here, at which point then the uh, paracord is burnt, so it melts. So this is uh, maintaining itself in place really well. And again, you just place it over, right, like that. And there you go. From there, we go to the interior compartment. We unzip this. And this is a YKK zipper. We'll talk a little bit more. And you can see the opening. It's uh, considerably smaller than the width of the wallet itself. And we have two compartments in here. These interior compartments, one on each side of this separator, provides for cards, cash coins, paper, small animals, anything else you might want to try and fit in here. And that is a quick review of the features of the Travex Renegade. Oh, sweet, sweet leather goodness. It measures 6.5 by 3.2 by 0.3, and it weighs 58 grams. Now comparing this to some other zipper wallets at the end will be fun, so stick around. As you can tell, I got eight cards in here and nine slips of cash. The taller currencies don't work. Uh, yen, euro, the larger euro notes, they don't work. But all the rest of these, including the 20 euro note, uh, they work just fine. You have to fold it once to get it in there. And you can see the credit cards that are in here and a combination of both the embossed and non-embossed. And one thing to note is that because the opening is square in the middle, if you push this over, you have more room over here on the side. And that is so you can put other things in here I don't know, like a lighter or a charger or maybe even your headphones, uh, your iPods, whatever it might be. That works there. Reasonable carry, I'd say a six uh, or eight cards. And the company makes no recommendation. Um, but really, with a zipper, the sky's the limit. Coins, whatever, SD cards, uh, it's all captured in here. You can see from pocket insertion how long this wallet is from a back pocket perspective. You don't have to have deep pockets for it to work, but having it, you know, hang out a little bit is okay. And from the front pocket, it's like having a paddle in your pocket. From a quality perspective, this is designed and made in the United States. It is hand-stitched Latigo leather, which is a very supple and pliable type leather. Now, do you know what kind of leather Latigo is? Well, it's cowhide, and the name means whip. It's first chrome tanned, then veg tanned, so it provides this great durability, but also this supple nature. Mmm, supple. And you can tell how this was built. So the leather, it was opened up this way. The zipper was sewn into this opening up here because you can tell that 
you know, there are no openings over here. This is all leather that folds over. And then it was turned inside out. And that's where you get this unique opening that we have here. And of course the stitching is done and it's done really well all the way around. And uh, no special emboss or uh, uh, burnishing on here. You can see that the logo uh, right here is stamped in the bottom right hand corner. And it, it is rugged, it is meant to take some abuse. And the zipper itself is a YKK zipper. High quality, YKK is really the top of the market. There's two or three that are there. And so you are getting a high quality zipper. The rivets that are here are coated, so they will wear a long time. And they're uh, brass, I imagine, underneath there. So again, even if this uh, coating wears off, you'll have a really beautiful patina develop. That is also backed by Travex's 65 year heirloom warranty. Now, the price on this is $50. And from a usability perspective, the proportions are off for me right here. For some reason, it doesn't work for me. And you can see how hard this is for me to get my hand into it uh, and to retrieve things since I have cards and cash in here. And I did decide to put some iPods in here, or AirPods in here, iPods. That reminds me of Futurama. Why is it called an iPhone? I'll explain after I install it. <laughs> Neat. If the wallet was more of a zipped half moon, like we see in other wallets, or was cut down on the sides here, so we were having full access to the wallet, or even just over here, uh, it, this would become much more functional and easier to use. That aside, again, the zipper, high quality, opens and closes smoothly, leather is fantastic, the partition on the interior is what you need for simple organization, and I'm not sure I would carry this in my pocket so much as use it for maybe a secondary pouch. Finally, Travex also sells, as you can see here, a Rome clutch in both a full and mini size. We haven't reviewed them yet, but they look much more functional, especially if you remove the purse strap. So is this a zipper wallet or a man clutch? Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stick around again after the final score. We'll take a quick visual of this against a couple other zipper wallets we reviewed. Now on to the final score. For quality of five, very well made. Price of four, it's reasonable uh, you know, for what you're getting here. Features of three, usability of two, and perception of four. Uh, Travex makes great products done all here in the United States. Uh, great quality. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. As promised, we're gonna show you a comparison between the Renegade and some other wallets, zip wallets we reviewed. This is the Bellroy Zip Wallet. You can get a feel for dimensions. Uh, it will fit in your pocket. It's a little taller than the Renegade, and thus it can hold all kinds of different uh, currencies. And you can see that it does have a full billfold pocket in here as well as for cards, and it can have coins. Coins fits in here really nicely. We then uh, look at the Notice Compact Coin Wallet. And we're getting into little smaller wallets here because these are, again, more compact. Uh, by Notice, you can say, see that on the interior, it has a place for a key, for cards, you can fold your cash. Again, taller currencies won't work with this one, but uh, again, you can see the size. Here's an Enrishi. This is the Japanese wallet we've reviewed in the past. This is all handmade. And look at the organization we have in here. Currency wraps around here, as well as card slots. Uh, you can throw some coins in here if you'd want as well. You have to be careful, just you know, make sure that this hole doesn't get too wide, but coins won't fall out of that. But you can see that it's, uh, in size, very close to what we have with the zip wallet up here. Just a little bit smaller. So if we set the Renegade over here, <clears throat> we have our Air wallet. This is a, a, a wallet that has, suffers from some of the same problems by way of the zipper does not completely open up. And so you can see with my finger, we have all this open space that you'd have to get into and then nothing goes over the, the side. You do have quick access slots out here, but there uh, is no other organization on the interior and uh, this zipper is a composite zipper, so it, it fits the rugged nature of air, but you can see the size. And of course, we have county column. We've talked about this one. Nice little wallet. This is uh, what we call you know, half moon. And so it does come all the way down, so you can open this up. If you don't want to open all the way up, you can just put this halfway up and get in this way. But you have the option to see your entire contents. And that's what I like about these half moon wallets that we have here with the uh, zip wallet and Enrishi, as well as the, the notice. So we move these up a little bit so we have a little more space. And then the final one we'll take a look at here is the Bellroy. This is the pocket. Uh, the very small one, obviously it's a smaller cousin uh, to the large zip and there's another intermediate one in there as well. Uh, but it still has some organization in here. And of course size makes this not something you would carry more than some folded cash twice, some, a few cards and that kind of thing. But you know, these are not really obtrusive in your pocket. These get to be big and it's the oblong nature of this, the length that I think makes this 
uh, Renegade, uh, you know, something to consider by way of pocket carry or something else. Well, there you go. Hey, thanks for sticking around. Take a look at these other videos. I think you'll enjoy them. And we'll see you in the next review. Bye.